hello everyone welcome to this video tutorial on data mining so in today's class we will see the data matrix and the dissimilarity matrix and how you can compute the dissimilarity matrix using different distance measure so as you uh, see in the last class i told you what is a data matrix and what is a dissimilarity matrix so today we will see with the help of an example okay suppose we are considering four students the number of the name of the students are x1 x2 x3 and x4 so these are the name of the students so we are considering two attribute attribute 1 and attribute 2 so think of that i have taken two class tests one is class test 1 another is class test 2 and these are the marks obtained in the class test 1 out of 5 by this corresponding students and these are the marks obtained by this number of students in the class test 2 which is also out of 5 okay so we can see the student x1 is getting 1 out of 5 in first class test and 2 out of 5 in the second class test like this so these are the different attributes we are considering whenever we are going to compare these two students okay so as, as there are two attributes we can plot these values in a two dimensional plane you can think of it as an x coordinate you can think of it as an y coordinate so if i plot so the student will be placed in like this x1 x2 x3 and x4 okay so as you can see in the data matrix how many rows are there there are four rows since there are four number of students and how many columns are there there are two columns because we are considering two attribute okay so whenever i compute the dissimilarity matrix or distance matrix so there will be four rows but there will be not two columns there will be four columns why because i will compare each student with other three students so x1 will be compared with x1 itself so if i compare a student with itself so they are similar so their distance will be equal to zero so whatever the value i got between x1 and x2 i will put it either here or there either in the lower triangular matrix or in the upper triangular matrix okay so if there are four rows so in the dissimilarity matrix or distance matrix there will be a four by four matrix okay so you have to remember all this so now we will see how to compute this dissimilarity or distance measure okay so next we will see generally dissimilarity or distances on numeric data generally computed by a distance measure which is popularly known as the minoxy distance measure okay so minoxy distance measure between two two values is given by this formula okay where i r equal to x i z x sorry x i 1 x i 2 up to x i p and j equal to x j 1 x j 2 x j p are two p dimensional data objects p dimension means there are total p number of p number of attributes in our case we are having two number of attributes okay and h is the order okay and h is a user user defined parameter and depending on the various values of h we will get different distance measure okay so this particular minoxy distance is also known as the lh norm okay so here this is the formula okay so we are simply calculating nothing but the difference in the attribute values of the corresponding two rows and we are getting it the with the help of the h parameter okay so if we put different values of h here we will get different distance measure so we will see how it is possible so these are the special case of minoxy distance okay so if you remember if you see this formula if i pay, put h equal to 1 so this is nothing but simply will be absolute difference of these two attribute values okay so if i put h equal to 1 so it is known as the l1 norm or manhattan distance okay so the formula will be simply the difference between the corresponding attribute values and lastly the summation of and finally we took the summation of all the differences and we finally get the l1 norm or city block or manhattan distance so this is a popular example of hemming distance where the number of bits that are different between two binary factors so we know what is in the hemming distance so this is an example of hemming distance okay so if i put h equal to 1 we get l1 norm or city block distance okay if i put h equal to 2 here as you can see so it will be square 
and it will be square root because it is root over then it will be square root if I put h equal to 2 then you can see the same thing but there is a 2 here square and after uh, square summation I have to find out the square root value of the whole thing so this is known as the L2 norm or Euclidean distance okay if I put h equal to 2 and if I put h equal to infinity this is known as the supremum distance L infinity norm or L max norm okay so generally this is the maximum difference between any component attribute of the vector so it is defined as using this formula which is known as the it here it is defined that it is the maximum difference between any component of the vector so now see if we if we put different values of h we will get different distance measure so let's see with that example how can we compute okay so we have taken this attribute okay so don't get confused here okay there is a thing what is h h is a user defined parameter but it is not equal to the number of dimensions number of attribute is always defined by this p p is the total number of attributes and in our case 2 is the total number of attribute because we are considering only two attributes 1 and 2 so here our attribute value will be 2 okay so here the value of here our this particular value will go up to p is p is equal to 2 here only okay but h is a different thing h h is an user defined parameter and it, it you don't have to confuse with the number of attributes so first we will see how will you find the manhattan distance matrix using this data matrix so this is the data matrix and this is the distance matrix since there are four rows so there will be a four by four column in every case this will be a four by four column four by four metric okay so i will see so as you can see the diagonal element will be zero and you can also find a different you can also find it using the formula so what is the formula of l1 it is says that find the absolute difference between each value okay so if I have to find the difference between distance between x1 and x1, so 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2. So 1 minus 1 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, so ultimately it will be 0. So if I have to find distance between 1 and 2, so this is the value between x1 and x2. So 1 minus 3 is 2 and 5 minus 2 is 3. So 2 plus 3 will be 5. In case of x3, and x1 this is 1 minus 2 which is 1 and 2 minus 0 2 so ultimately it will be 3 and x2 and x3 it is 1 5 so it will be 6 okay in case of x4 it will be x4 and x1 1 minus 4 is 3 2 minus 5 is uh, 3 so 3 minus 3 plus 3 will be 6 so like this you can compute the l1 norm it is simply find out the absolute difference between the attribute values of the pertain between these two vectors and you have to sum it up okay next we will say what is the euclidean distance euclidean distance is also same okay you have to find out the difference 1 minus 3 is what 2 2 square means 4 and 3 square means 9 4 plus 9 is 13 okay and 13 square root of 13 is 3.61 okay if I see x1 and x3, x1 and x3, 2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 minus 0 is 2. So 2 square is 4, 1 is 5. So root over 5, root over 5 means 2.24. Okay. Then x3 minus x2. So it's 3 minus 2 is 1 and here 5. So 1 square plus 5 square. What is mean? 5 square is 25 plus 1, 26. So it will be 5 point something. So like this you can find out the Euclid didn't distance. Okay. Then supremum is the maximum difference. So what is the maximum difference between suppose x3 and x4? 2 minus 4, 2 minus 4 is 2 and 0 minus 5 is 5. So what is the maximum? 5. So x3 and x5, x3 and x4, you can see here it is 5. So this is the maximum difference. So like this, you can compute the distance matrix from the data matrix using various distance measure, which is the special case of Minowski discourse measure.